Hey, what's going on everybody? Thought I'd share a little breaking news with you before I get into my video. If you haven't heard already, they just announced it a couple hours ago that for the third time this year, Miami's game against Clemson will be the featured matchup on college game day. Pretty awesome. I know this, uh, this whole pandemic's had a lot to do with us appearing on game day so much so early in the season, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take the exposure. We've risen to the occasion the first two times. Let's see if we can do it again. Now, on to what I was going to discuss. I keep hearing this question in the media. Is Miami back? I'm going to answer that very quickly. No. We are not back. I know we're not back. They know they're not back. Other Hurricane fans around the country know that they're not back. The media keeps wanting to ask, you know, the coaching staff and the players, stop asking. Stop writing articles about it. We are not back. When Miami's back, you'll just know. Like back in 2000, when we beat Florida State, when they were when they looked unstoppable, you just knew Miami was back. Now, that being said, there's been two major things holding us back in the last 15 years. One of them was the, was the system on offense and really just not wanting to keep up with the times in general. Not wanting to change with the times, just wanting to stick to being a pro-style team. Finally, we fixed that. So you can check off that box. Done. Next thing was not landing enough blue-chip elite South Florida talent consistently. People have been upset lately. People have been upset with certain coaches on the staff. Like, why didn't we land Jason Marshall uh, out of Palmetto? Why didn't we land this guy? Why, you know, why haven't we landed that guy? I'm going to give you a very simple reason. We were six and seven last year. Six and seven. You don't think that had something to do with that? If you told me back in January that, hey, out of the highly touted Palmetto Five, we're going to grab three of them, I, first of all, I'd, I'd say you're insane. Second of all, I'd be like, yeah, I'll take that in a heartbeat. We've gotten three out of five. You, you can't you can't expect to to sweep. And, you know, and to just clean house recruiting after a six and seven year, you can't expect it. We need to win before landing those guys consistently. I know we, we've gotten guys over the years here and there, but I'm talking the program changers. Guys like Joey Boza, guys like Dalvin Cook, Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy. Um, this year, Ja'Cory Brooks is a good example. Guys like that. We're not going to land those guys until we start to win football games, period. Okay. Now I'm not talking about Clemson this weekend. Is that a must win? I don't think so. It's not, I don't, I don't see that as a must win. It's a must show up. It's a must play your ass off and it's a must not embarrass yourself, but I don't believe it's a must win. The games I'm talking about are more like the, the Dukes, the Virginias, the North Carolinas, or any other group of five opponent, uh, the Toledos, the FIUs, teams that have no business beating us, especially beating us on a consistent basis, like some of those ACC teams have in the past. Those are those are games that we should be not only winning, but 80 to 90% of the time winning comfortably. We should be dominating most of those games. But we haven't been. Some people say, oh, we haven't we haven't had the talent. That's not true. We have had the talent to at least dominate the Coastal Division for the past 15 years. We haven't done that. Many reasons for that. You can cite my first reason, not getting with the times on offense. But we fixed that already. I believe this is a good team. And I believe moving forward, we can start having those 9, 10, 11 win seasons winning the Coastal Division most years. And that, I think, will get the attention of these blue chip guys. In the past, you couldn't land a guy like Joey Boza. You couldn't land an Amari Cooper because, simply put, we sucked. We were 7-6, and six, maybe 8-5 and five on a good year. And we, that's just not going to do it. That's not going to cut it. You need to win ball games with the guys you have. And they can do it. You need to win games with the guys you have to then start landing those program changers. Because when that starts happening, oh man, this 
this shit's going to get rolling over the next five, ten years. When you start keeping guys like Joey Boza, Nick Boza, Amari Cooper, Jerry Judy, Ja'Cory Brooks, when you start keeping those guys here in South Florida and keeping them here at Miami, that's when this thing's really going to start to get rolling. Anyway, that's it for me. Just wanted to share my thoughts on the state of the program. I think we're heading in the right direction. Like I said, we got with the times. Check. We're winning games we should win. Check. Keep that going. And I think we're going to be good for a long, long time. We're not back yet. We may not even be back next year or the year after, but it's coming. It's coming soon. And I cannot wait. Anyways, as always, it's all about the U. Go Kings.